German teacher accused of sexual assault has been found not guilty. The allegations cost him his job, and now a jury has acquitted him. Steve White has been in the courtroom and joins us now live with reaction. Steve. Yeah, that's right, Colleen. Phil Slomke took a deep breath and smiled. He had maintained his innocence all along, and jurors agreed. Jurors deliberating less than half an hour after the case got to them, about 4.20, and then by 4.50 today, they had come back with their verdict. Phil Slomke's accusations do not involve students, but did cost him his teaching job. And while he maintained his innocence and had said he was a devoted teacher, at times a different picture emerged in court. His ex-wife testified she would wake up to find Zlomke raping her. NTV is not naming her. She has also legally changed her name after her husband divorced her. Prosecutor said Zlomke's ex-wife was sexually assaulted on at least one occasion in the night and another time allegedly forced onto the bed with her wrists held down. Zlomke denied forcing himself onto her. In addition, his attorneys cast doubt. They, suggest, they suggested the story was fabricated to provide biblical grounds for this conservative wife to seek a divorce. The defense attorneys also argued the, re the relationship had evolved to a point where sex was routine and done out of duty and only later described as sexual assault. Prosecutors said it was a difficult case to try to prove a sexual assault in the context of a marriage. The Hall County Attorney's Office telling us they are not done, saying they will vigorously prosecute Phil Zlomke, who faces allegations with yet a different individual in a case expected to come to trial later this year. Colleen? Yes, that is important to note, Steve, that there has always been two separate uh, accusations right. and trials that have been planned. Right. And so this is just the matter of this is the one that came up on the court calendar first. As we said, there is another victim, a juvenile, not a student, that is expected to come to trial in December.